But first, tonight's special guest is indeed a sole survivor whose distinctive vocal sound marks him out as a British institution. He's also responsible for writing one of the most played records in recording history. In fact, this next song is played on average a staggering 150 times every day on radio stations around the world and has been covered more than 100 times in seven different languages. However, there's nothing quite like the original, so tonight it's my pleasure to present a true original, Steve Harley. <laughs> Done it all Broken every call You bought the rebel To the floor You spot the game No matter what you say For only metal What a ball Blue eyes, blue eyes how come you tell so many lies? Oh, you come up and see me, make me smile. I do what you want, running around. There's nothing left, it's all gone, I'm run away. Maybe you're tiring. It's just a test, a game for us to play When I lose it's hard to smile Resist, resist It's from yourself you have to have I cannot believe that song was released in 1975 because you guys make it sound so fresh and 28 years later you're still playing it and it's still sounding just as sweet. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a karaoke special, isn't it? It's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's because everyone thinks they can sing it and they can because it's half spoken. But yeah, I, I, I play 60 to 100 shows every year in different formats and uh, that's in every show. And, I don't, I don't get tired of it. I mean, it, it's like it's never the same twice. That was my next question to you because has it become a bit of a? It is your trademark tune, so has it become a burden or not do you still bit. get the buzz? Not a bit. Of that, that particular song. To do it song. now is really exciting. Yeah. yeah it's fun music. It's and it's never the same twice. We play it slightly differently. There's a different edge to it, different aggression, different passion every night. It's been sort of over a hundred versions and, yeah. and, uh, and in seven different languages. What are some of the, the best or even the worst, actually? I want the worst that you've heard. There's a great one in the Finnish language. You know, that's, uh, you hear two Finns talking to each other when you're out there playing and when we go out there touring. Yeah. It's like the alien. It's, uh, yeah, when two Finns talk to each other, it really is. There's no music to their language at all. So it's really like on another planet. And uh, 
there was a big hit there in Finnish. So that's an odd one to listen to. Most of them, unfortunately, have been pretty well a take on my original. Any Japanese versions? No, no, the best one, though, was The Wedding Present. They did a real punky version. And my friends were calling me about six or seven years ago and saying, if you heard it, and I'd say, well, no, I haven't. You'd hate it, you'll hate it. So I then finally heard it on the TV, I think, and uh, I called them back and said, this is wonderful. You liked it? They're the first ones to get the attitude, yeah. to understand what the, lo what the song is saying, the story. So I loved it, and I was all for the wedding present. Let me to ask you very briefly then, what is the song saying? Oh, that's a little finger point. <laughs> Come back and see me. Sometime. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit. He was fed up with people, you know, that something was going on. He? Was that you at that time? Yeah, yeah. But um, the demons overtake me when I write. So. <laughs> Third person. <laughs> so I presume you wrote the song, obviously, you just said when you write, so yeah. you must be loaded, because it's played all the time. Yeah, I'm all right. New best friend. So the <laughs> tax, a man, the tax man gets enough out of me, I know that much, you know. Steve, don't go anywhere, because we need your advice, we need your opinions, I want you to see some of our bands coming up. Yeah, For I'm example, I'm Rush. Steve, you're about to play our closing track tonight, but before you do, tell us a little bit uh, about the track. This is A Friend For Life. It came out last year as a single and uh, got quite a lot of airplay in the country and quite a lot of Europe. But, um, you know, where it was a big success. It charted at 125. <laughs> I would have bought it. I'm, I, I chalked it up as a hit. It's okay. Well, yeah. I think we're going to like it anyway. Get yourself together. Go yeah, play it for you. us tonight. I will. Thanks once again to everyone who took part in tonight's show. And I'm sure we'll be hearing much more from both of our new acts in the future. It's goodbye from Exposure for this week at least. And we leave you right now with Steve Harley.
way to stand